Hello friends, now we are going to take a very simple case of linear programming problem to solve it through simplex method. The problem is maximize z equals to 40x1 plus 35x2. This is summary of a problem in which we require or we need to maximize the profit. So this is profit function. Now this is called objective function z equals to 40x1 plus 35x2. Subject to the constraints 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 60 and 4x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 96 and both the variables are non-negative that is x1 and x2 both are greater than or equal to 0. Now first of all if we are going to solve any linear programming problem through simplex method particularly first of all check what is the objective maximize what are the sign in both the cases these are less than or equal to this is actually in matching with each other if the objective is maximized ideally the sign should be less than or equal to it is not necessary that in each and every linear programming problem we get this because it is on the basis of the situation managerial situation but this is in favor and this is also our first problem so I need to take this type of problem only on the basis of the sign of inequality what we have to do to convert it into equality the sign is less than or equal to and as in our previous lecture we have already discussed that if the sign is less than or equal to we have to add slack variable this is our inequality number one so we will use s1 similarly in this case also there is the sign of less than or equal to so we have to again add slack variable this is our constraint or inequality number two so we will use sign s2 these both virtual variables are also non-negative so now in case we convert this into equality form we will have four variables and all of them are non-negative so now it will be like this maximize z equals to 40x1 plus 35x2 plus s sorry plus 0s1 plus 0s2 subject to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 equals to 60 4x1 plus 3x2 plus s2 equals to 96 and x1 x2 s1 and s2 all are non-negative as we know that these two slack variables represent the unused capacity or unused resources say for example this is a constant related to use of material we have only 60 units of material consumption is 2 for 1 unit of x1 and 3 for 1 unit of x2 if we manufacture 0 units of x1 and x2 respectively the value of s1 will be 60 units that means the whole material 60 units available is unused so the slack variable represents the unused capacity or unused resources similarly if we assume that this is a constraint related to labor hours and we have 96 hours available 4 hours are necessary to manufacture 1 unit of x1 and 3 hours are uh, say necessary to manufacture 1 unit of x2 and we manufacture if we manufacture 0 units of these two then what will happen s2 will be equal to 96 that means we have not used any r out of 96 the whole capacity is unused so the slack variable represents the unused capacity or unused resources now what now this is the problem in a form which is suitable to solve it we have to prepare simplex table or simplex matrix to solve first simplex table will be prepared from this form of the linear programming problem 
in which we will assume that no production of x1 and x2 is there so s1 and s2 will become the solution variables that's it for now we will prepare the simplex table number 1 in the next lecture thank you